Hello everyone, welcome again to another video here on the Foxtech YouTube channel. This time we talk about the Apple Music, more specifically how you can update Apple Music on your iPhone with your own songs. Let's say that you're, you are even a creator of a music or you have your own MP3 files. It, it can be a voice recording, whatever it is, in case you want to update it and put it inside of the music app, I'm going to show you what you can do about that. Now, you cannot do it, you cannot, it's not possible to do it through the iPhone in case you have some music, perhaps even inside of the files app right here. So if I open up the files app, or this is the one app, you can find that you may have some MP3 files, but using this, you just cannot bring it back to the music app. It doesn't work that way. What you're going to be required to do in this case is to use the help of a computer. So if you, for example, have some files on your computer or even on your iPhone, you need to get them there. So for example, I'm going to click share on this one and use my uh, Air airdrop feature right here. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to just airdrop it to my computer right here. So I get the file right here. It's being downloaded. It will probably be fine like this. So it loads up and I can find it within the folder. So that's really useful, of course. Now, what I can do in case I want to bring it over to my music app, what I can do in this case is to open up the finder. As you can see, it is already right here. So I'm going to start a new window within that. And on the left side, you can see I have locations and one of them is iPhone. The iPhone is showing up right here only because I'm connected with the cable to my computer. So this is the requirement. You need to make sure that you are connected with the cable. Now in this, you can either find the sync section. So inside in here, you can sync the libraries, which is like a big way, the comprehensive way of updating your music on iPhone with your own song. So if you click on sync, you can sync the entire uh, library of songs on your Mac with the library on your iPhone. That's really good. But besides that, you can also just open up the music app on your computer. And on the left side, you can again find your section for the iPhone as long as you are connected through a cable. So you can see I'm connected and find iPhone right here. And this basically um, is showing me what's available. But in this section, I have to at first close the iPhone right here. So that's how it has to be done. Now I'm going to come back and this is show up within the music app. So you can see this is basically what is showing up. This is a list of all the songs which I have available. Now, in case I want to add the one which I shared for my iPhone, all I have to do is to ju just drag it over like this and it is then going to show up on my iPhone. So after it loads up, after it gets synced, everything has to be done properly. Of course, it may take a bit of the time, but after it's finished, I can bring and look up at my iPhone. And if I go to the music app, very simply, you can see that in the albums, I have the one which I have just added. You can see it's the one called 11 labs. It's a voice recording, which I have added to my library. So that's how you can update your uh, library with your own songs on a, on the iPhone. You have to use a computer, unfortunately. So yeah, that's just the way using the Mac. Besides that, if you have a PC computer, you're going to be required to download the iTunes file. So it's, you, you will have to install iTunes on your uh, PC, laptop or computer, but the process is going to be the same. You just connect your iPhone to the computer with a cable located there within iTunes and paste new songs there and sync it and do whatever you got to do. But this is how you can actually get it to work. But besides that, there is one more thing which I'd like to do with the songs on my iPhone. I'm going to show it to you right now, but before I need to show you one more thing, which is a platform, educational platform, which I created. It's called Foxtech. It's linked down below in the description. It's free to access. And inside you have a video editing course, all apps explained course with in-depth guides for basically every app. I'm constantly adding new stuff and you can also find a community there as well. So make sure to join it if you want. The link is going to be down below in the description. Anyway, what I like to do with my iPhone, let's say that in this case, as you can see, I have in the files app, a couple of MP3 files, which I can use. And instead of sharing them with AirDrop or doing something, I'm going to share it to a different documents app. So I have this documents app installed. And as you can see, when I go in here, I can play it in documents right now. No problem. Okay. A few ads. And you can see that this app 
And this document can be actually used like a music player. So in case you have some MP3 files or some of your own sounds or things available on iPhone in any app or anywhere, you can just put them to the music app uh, or create your own music player app within the documents. So you don't even have to use the Apple Music in case you don't want to. This is not the only player available on iPhone. Besides that, as I say, you can just get into the documents app like this. So for example, you can find it in here. Here is the documents, but it doesn't have to be the case. There are also other apps which you can download. You should do the same, but this is just an idea on how you can add your own songs because it's a bit more different, like a bit more complicated with the iPhone and stuff. So that's how you can do uh, this kind of updating with your own song. So that's about it. I'm going to wrap up this video right now. You need to subscribe to the Fox Tech YouTube channel in case you don't want to miss future updates and videos like this one. Definitely hit the thumbs up under it if the video like has helped you out. And I will see you in the next one in the future. Peace out until then.